Hi, welcome to Rick's Corner. I get a lot of people from my gym who ask me how to start a YouTube channel. They want to have their own thing on fitness and nutrition and bodybuilding and uh, they're not quite sure where to begin. And I always like to reach out and help people because I think it's good to help people do what they do. It's, um, it's not that easy, yet it is that easy. Depends on how you, what kind of knowledge you have about computers and cameras and your content and what you want to talk about and how you want to show it. And um, I think the first thing first is to find out what your content's going to be. Find out what it is you want to talk about that would interest other people. Something they don't know. Something your perspective on training or nutrition um, or, or how to work out a certain way that you found beneficial to you because it's not right for everybody but some things work for some people. And then make a, a note of what that's all about. Then you have to have a camera, a good camera. I have a uh, Zoom Q8, which is a 160 degree camera that I can crop down to fit any size you want it to be. It's really good, I like it a lot. It has a good audio system. You can exchange uh, different cam with, uh, uh, microphones on it to all types of different mics to pick up your sound, and it's, it's really a good camera. You need a place to shoot. You need a backdrop. You need something that has Nothing that's cluttered, but something that's clean and neat behind you so it doesn't see people running through there or kids or, you know, your living room furniture or your kitchen or something like that. You want it to look professional. And you have to have lighting. You want key lighting for you. You want, you want to be the subject, so you want the light on you. And the light behind you should be a little bit dimmer uh, unless you have something nice to show behind you, like I have a backdrop. Okay, that's the first step. Um, once you have that in place, do a test shot, see if it looks good, see if the lighting is good, see if you come across nice, if your audio is good, if your picture is good, and then you've got something to work with. Then you shoot your content. You shoot what it is you want to talk about. I wouldn't go over seven minutes, eight minutes long because people get bored until you have something really good that you can go for a long, long time. I can go for a long time. Once you have it done, and you need an editing system. Now, a lot of people have Macs, so they use iMovie, or they have uh, Movie Maker and PCs. Either one of those are good. I started on, on um, iMovie and then I advanced to Final Cut 10, which I really like because it's very similar but it has a lot more features. You have your content. Then you want an opening and a closing. You want something to announce your show with some vignettes of photos or whatever you're going to use or cartoons or drawings or artwork. Like any show on TV that has an opening with a little bit of music. Can you use music that's not copyright? Some of the music that comes with iMovie or comes with Final Cut, you can use as public domain, and it works fine. They have all kinds of jingles to lead you in and lead you out. I always believe that a show should have a lead-in and an outro because it's, it's just more professional. So you have your lead-in, you have your intro music, and then you have your opening of your show. There are transitions you can put from the lead-in to your show, the fade-ins or fade-outs or all kinds of stuff you can do. And then at the end of your show, you have your outro when you say goodbye to everybody. And then you have your music closing and maybe a credit or something, a sponsor or something else just to close the show out to make it look professional. You can find something that pertains to what you do. Now you have your opening and you have your closing and you have your content. In the middle of your content, it's good to drop in photo inserts of subjects that you're talking about. If you're talking about the bench press, then show somebody bench pressing or yourself bench pressing. No matter what it is, if you're going to do foods, then show foods that you eat. Um, this way people have a visual when you talk, they can re reference this um, by watching what you're doing. And I think it makes a good story. When you get into your editing phase, that's a little bit difficult, but it can be learned and I think it's fun to do. It's very creative and you put it together. When you finalize that edit and you've got your show, then you find a title. You find a title pertaining to the subject that you want to talk about. Don't put a general title. Because general titles get lost in transition and people go to look and they don't know what they're looking for. I do bodybuilding in every title because that's basically what I'm talking about. And then people search bodybuilding and then my name pops up. This way you're always being seen for something. If it's swimming, then put swimming down there, whatever it is. Um, once you have, I think it's a thousand views, you can monetize it and make money with it. Or you can find sponsors or you can put ads in or you can sell something. If you have something to sell like clothing or a book or anything that's going to make you money, put it in your in your video and talk about it and where to get it and what it costs and people can go there and they can download it off your website. Make sure you have a website that you can reference because people want to see who you are and what you got. The, ref the, the reference of the website is a really good way to go. And then you can post your videos on your website just as well as you can YouTube.
by using the uh, embedded code. I know this is all <laughs> weird language, but it's all there. And if I can learn it, you can, uh, and it's fun to do. But that's what I would do, that's what you have to do. And the first step is the hardest. You know, to really want to do this, you've got to take the camera out and sit down and do it. You find a place in your house. What I like to do is every once in a while I'll go out to a restaurant or I'll go outside somewhere, I'll go into the gym and I'll shoot one of my shows in there on location because people want to see me outside my studio and what I do with my life outside of it. So I shot some in the gym, I went to a restaurant I go to and I, I showed them how I order and what I eat and I kid with the waitresses and I have a buddy with me and they, they see the real me and that's what they want to see. And they also want to see the real you. So try to have a little bit of that leverage going on there where they know you're in the studio and you're out of the studio. And pretty soon your audience will build. Once you have your YouTube channel done and you have your video, post it on Instagram, put it on Facebook, wherever you can for social media, and try to build your audience. Because, of course, the more places you put it, the bigger your audience is going to be, and the more hits you get, and the more monetization you get, the more money you get, and the more money you can spend. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So I hope you... Um, you go on your journey and put this together and put it up and let me know how it goes for you and if you need any advice just ask me because I've been through it and I've got over 1400 videos that I shot and I started small in my garage and I went to a green screen and then I went outside and I went in the house and I went to a studio and now I got everything on there and this is my studio now that I use now and I'm really really happy with it I can go in there and shoot and it's right next to my office I can come in here and do my edit I'm right next to the kitchen where I have some food and I'm sitting here with two turtles that I've had for 15 years in an aquarium. And all my guitars I can play in between when I want to have something else to do. Alright, I hope that helped you. I'm Rick Drayson, you're watching Rick's Corner. And that's uh, my take on doing your own YouTube channel. And I hope it works for you. Have a great weekend and see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code Drayson12 on the link below at OldSchoolLabs.com. Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson, personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it and I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrayson.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.